Kula Shaker's seventh studio album, Natural Magic, is a sonic smorgasbord of 60s style rock with a lot of different styles thrown in for good measure. It's both catchy and a lot of fun to listen to. Let's talk about the new record from Kula Shaker, Natural Magic. Hey everybody, it's Nick here with you. Welcome back to the Rock Squad channel. Natural Magic is Kula Shaker's seventh studio album to follow up to 2022's first Congregational Church of Eternal Love and Free Hugs. That's a great title. And I wouldn't say that I'm a hardcore Kula Shaker fan. I love the band, but I'm mostly a fan of their first two studio records from the 90s, uh, K and Peasants, Pigs, and Astronauts. I love Peasants, Pigs, and Astronauts so much that I included it in my top 10 list of the best British rock albums of the 90s, and you can watch that here. But aside from their Pilgrim's Progress album, which I think came out over a decade ago, I haven't really kept up a lot with Kula Shaker and their music over the last decade, even though they've stayed very busy and made a lot of music. But I've always loved those first two records, and I found that Kula Shaker, Crispin Mills, and the boys have always perfectly blended Eastern styles and Western styles, kind of like the second coming of George Harrison and the Beatles. So I was very much looking forward to this new album from Kula Shaker called Natural Magic, and I have to say that it's a pretty solid effort from the band, uh, but it's not really a game changer, and it's not going to change the face of British rock in any way. But it's Kula Shaker at their most Kula Shakerist, if that's even a thing. That's, that's not a bad thing either. The band sounds awesome, and the songs in general on Natural Magic are all super strong. Instrumentally, it's very strong. The band sounds super tight as a unit, and there's a lot going on musically. There's a mesh of spiky guitars, creamy organs, multiple types of percussion, lots of vocal layers and harmony. Sonically, this is a real treasure trove. And lyrically, there are a lot of 60s kind of themes of peace and love, but also talking about heavier topics like war. And it's kind of sad that even after all these years, Crispin Mills and Kula Shaker is still singing about a lot of those same things. We haven't really evolved so much as a society that we've stopped singing about a lot of these topics. Uh, and they're very topical. They're very current. They're very modern, kind of like on the new Green Day record. And this album, Natural Magic, draws from a lot of different styles. Obviously, I mentioned the 60s rock, but then you have blues, you have Indian styles, you have 50s doo-wop. Uh, you have Latin and Western styles on here. There's a lot of different genres happening on here, and Kula Shaker do them all very well. Not every song on here is a home run, but for the most part, all the songs on Natural Magic are super strong, and it's just great to hear Kula Shaker still writing really solid songs uh, this far into their career. Overall, I found this to be a very fun and enjoyable listen from front to back. There's quite a few songs on here to enjoy on Natural Magic, so let's break it all down for you. The album kicks off with a song called Gaslighting, which I thought was a great opening track. You had Spike, you guitars and preaching uh, kind of rap style vocals from Crispin Mills. Uh, the way that he sing raps on this song reminds me a lot of the uh, the track The Revolution Will Not Be Televised by Gil Scott Heron. I'm not sure if that was an influence on this track, but I can definitely uh, feel that on this and it kicks off the overall vibe and theme of the record and I found Gaslighting to be a very good opening track. One of the first singles from the record is called Waves. Really enjoyed this. Really fun, poppy track. Reminds me of classic Kula Shaker, like something that would be on those first two records. Uh, uh, very 90s Brit rock vibe, which was obviously what they're going for. That is the sound uh, of Kula Shaker. And from what I understand, this uh, this song has actually been a little bit of a hit on British radio. And so it's cool cool to see that Kula Shaker getting some, some radio love again. The title track, Natural Magic, is also really strong, featuring some great keyboards and organs, courtesy of Jay Darlington. If you know that name, then you know that he was the Oasis live keyboard for many, many years. And he actually just recently rejoined Kula Shaker in 2022. Uh, I love the dancey vibe of this track. A few uses with a really nice guitar riff, some nice disco strings, which you can never really go wrong with. And probably, I think Natural Magic, the title track, is one of the strongest tracks on the record. Indian Record Player is a great track doing that classic Kula Shaker thing, uh, which is essentially their sound, of mixing together uh, Eastern and Indian influences with Western style rock. Even though they've tried some new things on this record, they very much stayed true to their sound, which is very unique to them. There's not a band on the planet that sounds like Kula Shaker. Chura Leah, You Stole My Heart is one of my favorite tracks on the record, mixing together that classic Kula Shaker sound of mixing Indian and Eastern styles with Western styles. Features some Indian vocals like Radhi Radhi, which is one of my favorite tracks on Peasants, Pigs, and Astronauts. Has some soft acoustic strums on there mixed with a like Mexican Latin feel. I love the horns on this track. And for me, this was definitely a highlight of Natural Magic. Something Dangerous was another really cool song. Traditional Indian instruments mixed with an electric guitar kind of chug. Uh, definite Beatles, George Harrison vibes on here. I don't mean to keep coming back to that comparison, but really George Harrison was one of the first people in, in Western music and modern pop music to bring those Eastern influences in there with such 
guitars and those kind of instruments. Uh, so that's going to be a continual comparison uh, on this review. But there's like a really cool campfire, sitting around the campfire vibe to the song. When when you have a band as dynamic as Kula Shaker who do all these different styles, it's really cool for them just to kind of sit down and strum a song around a campfire, that kind of style, which is always really cool. The song Stay With Me Tonight is the ballad of the album. Every album needs a ballad. You need that crossover track that has the potential to really dig into people's souls. And that's the one on here. Stay With Me Tonight uh, has a blues-esque waltz to it. Really sweet lyrics. Like that a lot. Reminded me a little bit of like a Janis Joplin track or something like that. There's very much that kind of vibe. A lot of 60s comparisons happening on here, like I said. And features guest vocals from a vocalist. I don't want to mess up their name, but I'll try my best. Alanud Giganti, who I'm not familiar with, but sounds absolutely fantastic duetting on this track with Crispin Mills. Another one of my favorite tracks on Natural Magic has to be F-Bombs. And no, it's not just because they're tossing the word fuck in there a lot, even though that's always cool when bands do that. Uh, but I really like the lyrics on here. It's an anti-war song on this album, anti-war lyrics on this song, which is timely because uh, there's always war. <laughs> even this far into our, our development as a society, there's always war. But I love the lyrics on this. Fuck war. Everybody should say that. Fuck war. Carrying the message of the Beatles and a lot of bands since, as well as the sound uh, of bands like that as well. I really dig this song. F-Bombs, one of my favorite songs on Natural Magic. Another one of my favorite tracks on Natural Magic was I Don't Want to Pay My Taxes, which was all one word uh, in lowercase. Love the title of this one because really, who wants to pay taxes? It sounds like Crispin Mills does not want to pay taxes as well. Uh, but I love the lyrics on the song. He doesn't want to pay for World War III, which is makes a lot of sense. He's not really uh, speaking wrong on this. I love the lyrics. I love the guitar. Has an awesome riff breakdown in the middle. I wish there was maybe a little bit more riffage on uh, on Natural Magic. Not to say that Kula Shaker shies away from doing riffs, but uh, they don't really dig into those heavy rockouts too much on this record. I think they did a little bit on this track, and I would have liked to see that on some of the other songs. And the album also finishes with a song called Give Me Tomorrow, which I thought was a really beautiful song, a really great closer for this record. It reminded me almost like a 50s doo-wop ballad. It had very much that kind of style. You could see a lot of people dancing to this at a high school dance in the 50s. has that kind of sound. Uh, Let Love Be Your Sunshine. Lyrically, this album is very uh, uplifting. It's very positive. Uh, and you really can't complain about that as a listener. When a, when a band is putting something that they're trying to uplift people and stay positive, I think that's generally a good thing. Oh, by the way, if you guys dig this video, if you like this review, if you like this channel, we appreciate you tossing me a like, appreciate that. And if you like this channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. But despite all those songs that are really loved on Natural Magic, uh, there are a couple of songs that are filler, which is to be expected. At least, at least it's filler to me. I know I've noticed a lot in the comments when I do these records that I'll say, oh, this song is filler, didn't do much for me. And then the, the person in the comments says, well, that's actually my favorite track. Well, this uh, this album does have a couple of filler tracks, at least to me, but you know what? Some people may disagree. And those songs are as follows. I'll just run through them really quickly. Happy Birthday was a nice Indian style jam. Didn't really jump out to me that much. Uh, Whistle and I Will Come had some more Western vibes with the whistling, which I really, really enjoyed. It's like you're watching some, some old Western movie. And I read uh, in another uh, review, an article, that this title is actually a reference to one of Haley Mills' movies. Haley Mills, the famous actress who's the mother of Crispin Mills of Kula Shaker. She did a movie back in the day, a Western movie called Whistle Down the Wind. So I guess this song title is a reference to that. Uh, it was okay. It had some nice string flourishes, but overall it was just kind of okay to me. Another song that I thought was kind of filler on Natural Magic was called California Blues. It starts with some some fun audio, like uh, listening to like a stewardess on an airplane, which was kind of cool. Uh, some weird things that she says about leaving LA and coming back to, to, to gray old England. I guess I can never really experience that. I'm not from England. I've been there a couple times. Uh, but there's a fun circular guitar riff on here. But I didn't find it sticking in my head as much as some of the other tracks on Natural Magic. At the end of the day, Natural Magic is a cool record, but it's it's a Kula Shaker record. It's Kula Shaker sounding like Kula Shaker, doing what they do best, which is 60s inspired uh, rock via the 90s, now via 2024. But I would have to say the biggest thing that I felt about Natural Magic is that it was a fun and breezy listen. The songs are positive, they're uplifting, and it's the kind of record that makes you feel good. And like I said, the album draws from a host of different influences. You got 60s rock, you got blues, Indian styles, 50s doo-wop in there, Latin and Western styles are all over the place with this record, which is not a bad thing. I love the, the, the meshing of all those different styles. They do it very well. And lyrically, this is a scathing record. Uh, Crispin Mills has a lot of things that he wants to say about politics, about war, love, death. It's a fun sounding record overall, but there are some serious lyrics on here. Uh, there are some serious overtones, but they never get too heavy handed with what's going on here. Favorite tracks for me on Natural Magic were Gaslighting, Waves, Natural Magic, 
Kendrick, Chua F-Bombs, I Don't Want to Pay My Taxes, all great songs that I really enjoyed and they're getting added to my Spotify playlist. But despite some key tracks that I really enjoyed, I can't see myself going too deep down the Kula Shaker rabbit hole. I enjoy the band. I can't see myself becoming a huge fan of them at this point in their career. I love the stuff that I've heard in the past. I think there's some really strong uh, songs on this record, but I can't see myself becoming a huge Kula Shaker fan again, despite all the album's strengths. But they have their original lineup back, which I think is really, really cool. Like I said, Jay Darlington, formerly of Oasis, has rejoined Kula Shaker in 2022. He was such a huge part of their sound. All those creamy, awesome organs that he does in Kula Shaker, a big part of what they do. Uh, and in 2024, they're sounding, this actually is a better record than I thought it would be. Kula Shaker sound great, and they're firing on all cylinders in 2024. So overall, I'm going to have to give the new album from Kula Shaker, Natural Magic, a three out of five. Let me know what you thought of the new Kula Shaker album down below. Oh, 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 oh,